Our first step is to get some tea bags. We have 10 tea bags here. We're going to put those all into a beaker. And then we need to measure out some sodium carbonate. We're going to measure out about 10 grams. So zero out our scale. And weigh out about 10. The sodium bicarbonate here is going to help everything that is not the caffeine stay suspended in the tea solution when we extract the caffeine. And that should be good. 10.2 is fine. We're going to put our sodium carbonate into the same beaker, followed by adding 150 milliliters of distilled water. I want to make sure we're using distilled water here. With 150 milliliters in there, we're going to turn on our hot plate. We're going to turn this all the way up to 280 degrees Celsius right off the bat. Uh, we're going to let it come to a simmer. We're going to put a watch glass on top of the beaker. That'll just help retain the heat. Once we do get it to a simmer, we are going to want to turn that heat down. Otherwise, we're just going to start to boil over. So we'll bring it down to about, about 175. And then we're going to let it simmer like that for about 10 to 15 minutes. Once 10 to 15 minutes has passed, take your beaker off your hot plate, remove your watch glass, and then we are going to pour our tea solution, very concentrated tea, into this beaker. Use something to help you keep the tea in and squeeze it out, but don't use a, don't use a stir rod because they break. Use a metal spatula. We want to squeeze all of our tea out, and then we are going to do this one more time, this time using about 100 milliliters of water. Again, distilled water. We don't want to use tap water. That will mess with our solution. And bring it back up to a simmer, and we're going to do the same process over again. Put the watch glass on, let it come up, and then if it, if it does start to boil over here, we can just take the wash glass off, stir it around, turn down the heat, so on and so forth. But once everything's ready, we're going to pull this back out and do the same thing again. We're just going to keep all of our concentrated tea. And by doing this, we should collect all of the caffeine out of the tea bags. In our next step, we're going to be using dichloromethane to pull the caffeine out of the tea solution. Now, this is where the sodium carbonate will keep everything else in the tea. Only the caffeine will get pulled through. But dichloromethane will boil at 40 degrees Celsius. Right now, our solution is about 90. So we need to give this some time to cool down before we move on to our next step. While we're waiting for that to cool down, we can go ahead and create a concentrated sodium chloride solution. Do this by just adding some distilled water to a, uh, let's do a 600 milliliter beaker. And then adding sodium chloride and letting it stir for a while and keep adding the chloride until it doesn't dissolve anymore. Once we hit that point, uh, just decant off some of the solution and we'll be ready to use it. Now that our solution is cooled down, we're going to pour it into a separatory funnel. Make sure that your separatory funnel is closed before you pour anything in, otherwise it'll just fall at the bottom. That wouldn't be good. We'd lose all our product. And then we're going to use a wash bottle just to get as much of that tea out as we can. We want to we want to try and collect everything that we possibly can. Next, we're going to add 25 milliliters of dichloromethane. So, use a use a glass funnel for this because the dichloromethane tends to stick to glass so it won't it won't pour nicely so it's okay if you get a little bit over once you've got your dichloromethane pour it back into that same beaker that had the tea in it just to again try and get as much out as we can then we're going to pour that into the separatory funnel and we'll watch as the layers separate now what we need to do here is we need to shake this. The issue is that the T and the dichloromethane can form what's called a suspension. So we need to cap and shake it very slowly. 
So notice that I make sure the cap is on securely, and then I tilt it over and I vent it. Notice that. I'm moving it very slowly, and then each time I open the port just to make sure any excess gas is able to escape. And you'll hear some come out, and just keep doing this until you don't hear any more gas escaping, and then do it between 5 and 10 more times. What's happening here is as the dichloromethane mixes with the tea, the caffeine dissolves much more strongly into the dichloromethane. The video is sped up here, but you can see how many times I'm capping and venting this. It's, it's going to be a solid 20 to 30 times. So then we pull out our cork. And our next step is going to be to separate the dichloromethane from the tea. So we're just going to open it up on the bottom, and it's going to start to pour out. We can do this slowly or quickly. Just be careful to try and get as close to that line as you can without letting any of the tea out. There we go. And then we're going to repeat this process a few more times. We're going to do this a total of three times, each time using another 25 milliliters of dichloromethane. Each time, cap, vent, shake, and shake it very slowly. If we shake it too fast, it forms an emulsion, and the layers just do not separate. As we're going through the process of getting the caffeine to dissolve into the dichloromethane, some of the water from the tea will also be dissolving. It will we'll get a little bit of water impurity in our dichloromethane. And so what we need to do is we need to remove that water, and that's called drying our solvent. So what we're going to do here is we're going to clean out our separatory funnel and then take our dichloromethane that has the caffeine in it we're going to put it into our nice, clean separatory funnel. Make sure this separatory funnel is dry before you put the dichloromethane in it. We don't want to add more water. Then we're going to get a little bit more of the DCM, pour it back into that same beaker, swirl it around just to make sure we get any reserves left. We want to make sure we're getting everything, then pour that in as well. Next, we're going to take some of our saturated salt solution, and we're just going to pour a little bit in, maybe 10 to 20 milliliters. And then we're going to cap it, shake it, vent it, so on and so forth. Now, the saturated salt solution will not form an emulsion, so we can be a little quicker and a little more vigorous with this capping and shaking. And then once we've done that, our DCM will sit on the bottom. Let's make sure we let the layers separate, and then we can pour out the DCM. the waste salt solution can just go down the drain. And then we're going to repeat this process two or three times. And we're going to do this until our DCM is crystal clear. If we see any cloudiness in that at all, we want to run a saturated sodium chloride solution again to continue to dry it. Once we're at our final drying stage, we're going to fill our beaker, our receiving beaker, with some calcium chloride. Calcium chloride is called a drying agent. There are many different types of drying agents, but calcium chloride is a pretty good one for this, as it will absorb water, but it will not dissolve in dichloromethane. And so we can filter our DCM down into this beaker, just getting the very last of it. and that will help absorb the last of the water out of that DCM. And then we're just going to stir it around just to uh, make sure it's actually absorbing the water. 
And now we need to just get our dichloromethane separated from the calcium chloride. So we set up a Buchner funnel, and we are going to pour the dichloromethane through it. Notice I'm washing the beaker and the calcium chloride a little bit with just a little bit of dichloromethane just to try and get as much out of it as possible. I don't want any clinging to the sides. And then we're going to take this leftover and we are going to put it into a Florence flask, 250 milliliter Florence flask.